Good afternoon, my name is Charles, coming to you from Bryson Marina with Black Rock Yachting. Um, it's a sunny day, so I thought I'd go through um, our Jano Leader 46 that we have in stock here. It's a 2018 model, and um, we'll just go through the exterior here. So we have a Lumar windlass and a Lumar stainless steel anchor, which is quite a statement. It looks, looks really nice, especially when you catch the sun on it. Um, coming to the hull here, um, you do have a painted hull with the with the windows here um, with the black continuous line. So it looks very sleek in the 2017 Jano. It is 46, they were not continuous. You would have these sections here um, not painted in. So it looks very streamlined. Um, obviously you have a stainless steel railing all along the boat, quite high, so it uh, ensures safety. And also stainless steel rub rail which comes down as well. <clears throat> you have cleats forward, midships, and on the stern. For cross lines as well. Swimming platform here. On the port quarter you have the ladder with the handrails to get up. They're integrated onto the deck there. Makes it easy to get on deck. Um, and then on the stern we have this locker here, which I will show you. It's a small lazarette slash um, tender garage. As you can see, it goes quite far in. Um, fantastic for storage of fenders or a small tender or luggage. Or some toys. Put some donuts in there, inflatables, that kind of thing. Um, so coming onto the onto the aft of the boat, we do have a fully enclosable um, aft deck. I'll just step off to get a better view. Fully enclosable aft deck. I've taken off the the starboard section of it to get on board but that does close up also you can take it off you do have a small bimini um, permanently attached which gives nice shading and also adds the aesthetic of the boat as you can see gives it quite a good sinuous profile um, some bed area here that's fully permanent you have storage underneath on the port side um, it's access to the engine room that goes underneath and here is the addition of the enclosed cockpit. I've opened the door, but this door can close and can be locked. So great for privacy and security. So now just getting onto the starboard side deck here. Easy access, one step. Stainless steel railing on the starboard side, obviously all around the boat. Fixed stainless railing on the superstructure here. So plenty of areas to keep hold of while walking forward. Windless and anchor as mentioned before. Self-draining anchor locker with the electric control there and the manual control. Here you have um, an area for sunbeds if you wish to add them. And then of course looking on top of the boat you have the hard top retracted. I have retracted that. Um, adds plenty of light inside and we can close that later just to see how it operates and port side exactly the same as starboard you don't you do not have a favored side on this boat so walking back astern the retracted hard top here really amazing feature that one and then you have here of course the radar tv antenna and vhf Steaming light and horn. Nav lights just here. And then coming back to the aft, gas locker just below here. Shore power on the port side. Oh, yes. So now walking further into the cockpit, I have the, yeah. the aft window opened up. I will close that in a second just to show you. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. The whole boat is open. Um, you have the aft sunbed here, you have another uh, sunbed further up. It just makes it really flowing, really nice to walk into. And of course with those cockpit enclosure there, the aft cockpit, with that all open, really, really free flow. I'll just close this now, just to show you how it operates. And with this closed, and the door closed as well, added security. Um, 
this is completely private, they're in the cockpit. As opposed to not having this option, um, it would not be private and secure. Only the inside saloon would be. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have this section of the boat closed off and you have the option to open it up. So that's, that's it. Very easy to do, very secure, feels very solid. And now looking at the inner cockpit table and seating. Large seating area, cup holders, storage underneath. Very large dining table. Upholstery is done in a really nice finish. Cream and grey contrasting, really lovely. Here on the starboard side, you have access to what could potentially be a grill if you wanted to, or you can use that as a worktop to do whatever with. You have a sink underneath hot and cold water, storage underneath, I've put the cockpit covers in there for the time being. And then coming on to the port side, this is the extra sunbed that was mentioned, um, you can take out this infill to become a navigating seat, but really it's been made for a fantastic open sunbed area, you can put two people on here, really nice how they've done this lifting cushion there, and of course on a nice summer's day with this hard top open, Lovely, really nice feature to have. Got large windows all around here, opening port and starboard, window wipers and defog. And then coming on to the helm here. So you have two bolster seats and a, a lifting teak step. And then coming on to the controls here. So we have the Raymarine Axiom 12 inch plotter, radar on and Bryce Marina on the chart plotter there. All your switches, bilge pumps, water pumps, nav lights, etc, etc. Dials. VHF DSC. Got your penta controls there. Got your Lenko trim tabs. Got your thruster sticks with additional trim. And then you've got this lovely option of the 360 docking system. Sideways, fore, aft, and turning. Really nice feature, handles brilliantly. And this, uh, this boat is not fitted with a bow thruster and somehow um, it can take you sideways. Mind boggling, but a fantastic piece of kit. Now walking into the saloon area, um, we do have the main security door here, which you can lock. See-through perspex, still giving lots of light into the boat the main skylight here into the saloon. Just walking down here, we're, we are greeted with plenty of features. Um, some lovely lighting, which is indirect LED. Makes it very modern in keeping with everything else. Marlin white upholstery with walnut finish. Got some great lining here on the walls as well, as well as actually the uh, the head panels. So yeah, pl plenty of seating with a nice table, mirror forward. And then looking at the controls here, we do have the additional fusion stereo system with the Webasto diesel fired heating system. Cupboards above. Fitted TV with a wine storage below. coming into the galley we have a large fridge with a small freezer on top 230 volt microwave oven fully finished in white gas stove here dual hob stainless steel sink and then plenty of storage in the surroundings battery switches as shown. Jen have done it extremely well with the finish in general um, as a flagship model. She's just she just has that finish of a really exceptional stainless steel fittings everywhere. 
Walking into the head on the starboard side, this is the communal head, and you have a basin there, hot and cold water. You have the drop down table over the electrical toilet for storage if you wanted to put towels and whatnot. You have a double mirror above that opens up. There you go. Great feature of this head is that you have a separate shower. Um, so fully enclosed with the door there. You have stainless steel faucets and the opening hull window there. Coming into the forward cabin with the double berth that is split into a scissor berth, I suppose you call it. This does join together center line, as I will show. Queen size berth there, center line. Really nice handy feature. If you have different groups of people, you can split it up or not. You can lock it into position here. Both are lockable. Lots of lighting, indirect lighting, the LEDs with the hatch. Mirror integrated forward. Storage above on both sides with the main storage here on the port side. Aft, here we have the master ensuite double berth. Very impressive. We've got LED lighting underneath, also onto the backboard there with storage here, and then also storage on the starboard side. You have three opening hatches here as well, two opening windows mirror either side of the backrest and then here we have the feature of the opening ensuite um, these frosted doors also close which I can show mirror basin two mirrors as well electrical head aft with opening window and surrounding walnut. And then forward, you have the separate shower. Same again with the stainless steel faucets and the opening window. Just to show that the ensuite closed and private, still looks lovely, allowing lots of light in. And then plenty of storage just behind the door. And now after opening the engine room hatch, we have accessed the engine room. And here we have the two Volvo Penta D6370 DPs, 370 horsepower each. Top speed of 30 and a half knots at 3600 RPM, cruising of 20 knots at 2800 RPM burning 94 litres an hour. You have the oil filters here on the port side of each engine and the fuel tanks over here, port and starboard with the fuel filters. 450 litres each, totaling 900 litres. We do have a fitted surveillance camera just there if you can see, which we um, fitted so you can keep an eye on your engine room. Nice feature. Then you have the emergency extinguisher and the Wabasto diesel heating system there on the starboard side. And just behind me, we do have the batteries with the breakers up there on the port side. So there we have it, our Jano Leader 46 that we have in stock, the 2018 model. Um, if you're interested in viewing the boat, please let us know. It's here in Brighton Marina with Network Yacht Brokers and Black Rock Yachting.